So here's a close up of the, or I call it the earth rug because of the colors. And this is the denim, emerald green, turquoise, and lime green. And I thought some alternate um, colors that would be nice together is the fuchsia, pastel pink, and the white. And then there's also, I think 16 colors total. So there's other color combinations too that would look great. So to get started on the rug, it's super easy. All it is basically is a big double crochet circle. So to get started, you make a slip knot. I leave about a five, six inch end um, for a tail on my slip knot. And I make a ring like this. I take the strand across the back. It looks like a pretzel. And I'm gonna pull that strand forward out of that circle like this. Then there's a knot side and a slip side. I tighten the knot side, put it on my hook, and I'm using a 12 millimeter Deborah, Deborah Norville crochet hook. So I just tighten the slip side of my knot a little bit so it slips up and down like that. And then I'm gonna chain four. Then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So to do that, I just go into that first chain like this, yarn over, bring that through, and then bring that through the loop on my hook. But what I want you to see here is that sometimes when you're working with yarn and you make this um, chain four and then slip stitch in the first chain to uh, form a ring, you don't really, you, get, uh, you might get a little confused on where the center of the ring is. And when you look at it with this big yarn, it's a great opportunity to see where the center of the ring is when they're talking about this. So you make, when you do this, you realize that this strand right here is part of the slip stitch. It's not, so the center of the ring is actually right here. It's not, sometimes people get confused and think it's right here. So what you wanna do, when you finish that slip stitch like this, that strand is part of that slip stitch. So right there is the center of your ring. So that's just a little good tip to know. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna chain one and work 12 double crochets into the center of the ring. And while I'm working into the center of the ring with my double crochet stitches, I'm also gonna be working over the end of my starting chain. So you just work the double crochets right into the center of the ring and you want 12 of them. This yarn feels just like t-shirts, but it is 100% polyester. It does feel like cotton though, and it's washable, very durable. So it's good for a rug. You could also make these smaller and use them for hot plates or coasters. So I'm still working over the end of my starting chain and into the center of the ring. You could use a Q hook. The stitches will come out a lot bigger. Gauge isn't really super important in this. And you wanna keep it kinda loose because it's already a really thick yarn to be working with. And if you make it tight, you're gonna put a lot of stress on your arms, on your hands. So I don't count that beginning chain one. You can see that right there. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you might need to push these around the ring a little bit to get all 12 in there. So there's nine. Ten, eleven, and there's twelve. Okay, so now what I can do with this end that I crocheted over is I can pull it and I can close up my center a little bit like that. And then I'll just sew the rest of this in when I get done. 
So now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet and to do that I'm going to go underneath those two strands of the first double, bring that out and bring that through the loop on my hook. So that completes round one. Now for round two, you just chain one. Let me show you if you wanted to um, change colors right here. You could just, um, what you could do to change colors is when you finish, before finishing the last double crochet, you could go into the last two loops are on your hook and normally to finish that double you would pull through this color. With your new color you make a slip knot and you bring that slip knot through the last two loops on your hook and you finish the last double crochet with the new color like this. And then you just cut this one off and you join with the new color like this. And then you chain one and you work two double crochets into that um, first stitch and in each stitch around. So you'll have 24 double crochets on round two. So with two in each one, you had 12 on your first one, and then you're going to have two on the second one. So I'll finish this round and I'll come back on camera and show you how to join, and then we'll connect the white and um, do three rounds for a small sample. So I'm at the last stitch of round two, and I'm going to work two double crochets into this stitch right here. And I have 24 double crochet stitches now. So I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet here. And I'm going to show you a second way to add on a new color. So I'm just going to drop a loop there and then bring that through the loop on my hook. And then I can um, just cut and pull that out or sometimes people do an extra chain there and you pull on the back to kind of lock it. So that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm just going to cut my yarn here and just pull that all the way through. And then I'll sew that end in. But at this point this would make a great hot pad right here. And you talk about quick, this would be just two rounds and you'd have a cute little hot pad. And then with all the colors that are available in this yarn, you could actually do it like for um, Christmas or St. Patrick's Day or 4th of July, you could do red, white, and blue. So anyway, now I'll switch back to pink and this time I'm going to show you a different way to add a new color on. So you start with a long tail, make a slip knot like this. Put that on your hook and go to any stitch and go in under the two loops, draw a loop out and then draw that through the, the um, slip stitch and then maybe pull that just a little bit and then chain one and work two doubles in that first stitch like that. like that and then one double in the next stitch and then two in the next one. So it's every other one you'll be increasing. So this is a very symmetrical increase here and it's a very, uh, it'll stay flat for as big as you want to make your rug. So you just keep going and right now I have one double crochet by itself in between my increases and the next round what you want to do is have an increase and then one one increase. So each round increases by one 
um, double crochet in between the increases. So that's all you have to do to create this rug and this is a great beginner project and I want to thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Strands. There's the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. And these are the two that I'm going to go under for the next one. Over the whole strand of yarn and then pull that strand of yarn all the way through. And then just for extra um, security,